If you're struggling with W King third parties fighting sense, you've come to the right place. What's going on guys, Jivin back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down all things to do with W King. There's going to be two W Key games playing in the background. For the most part, we'll just be talking, but we'll analyze some situations in the game at points. Before we hop into this video, please consider using code JiveNTV in the Fortnite item shop, or at least make sure you're using somebody's code because it helps us out a ton. Without further ado, let's hop into this video. First thing I want to talk about is when you're starting W King, should you just push everybody you see? And the answer is probably not. From my own personal experience, that does not go well for most people. And if you try that, a lot of you are gonna get very demotivated, especially in solos. So instead of W King every single fight you see right as you're trying to get better at fighting, start out by W King the dead side of zone. I've mentioned this before in other videos, but if you start out on dead side of zone, that's gonna be the easiest place to fight because there's not gonna be as many third parties. So that's where I recommend starting out your practice with W King. If you can W key everybody on dead side of zone successfully you're most likely going to be able to drop like 10 kill dubs maybe even more after you feel like you've mastered dead side of zone fighting i recommend just slowly working your way towards hot side of zone so instead of fighting on absolute dead side of zone start fighting in between hot side and dead side that's where you're going to find the medium amount of players once you've mastered that move all the way over to hot side of zone that's the idea. If you don't really understand what I'm talking about, I really recommend checking out the video linked in the description. I'll label it W key rotations. That'll help you out. But let's move on to another topic. Another tip for beginners is that you don't need to land hot to W key. A lot of times, especially if you're not as experienced, you might leave off spawn really shambles. So it's sometimes better to land low key and then push a lot of people. So just take my advice. If you start to get frustrated landing at a hot spot, switch it up and go low key just to save your mentality. Start mastering a few different drop spots around the map. And once you feel like you have one mastered, move on to another. With time, you'll have a bunch of different drop spots mastered if you get frustrated with one, you can switch it to another one that you have mastered. OP strat right there. If you're really struggling and losing a ton of fights, you need to start practicing and creative and doing 1v1s to build up your fighting mechanics and fighting sense. The way I got better at fighting was 1v1ing a bunch of my cracked friends and really good players from scrim discords in the looking for players section. Doing that will help you build up the right habits in fights, and it'll help you to end fights faster, which is the entire goal of W King. The faster you end a fight, the sooner you'll be able to move on to another fight. Real quick, let's check out what's going on in the game here. So as you can see, it's getting later in the game here. Once it gets to this point in the game, the best strategies for W King is to either third party ongoing fights just like I did there, or to find isolated players just like I'm doing here and pick fights with them. When they're isolated like this, it's much easier to push them without having to worry about a third party because you're way split from everybody else. So they're gonna be worrying about the people around them while you can just focus on the fight that you're in. And one of the most important things about fighting at this point in the game is protecting your angles. Notice how I'm literally box fighting. I'm building walls all around me. That way I can't get sniped or sprayed at. I'm just completely surrounded and I can focus on the fight at hand. My mentality in these fights is just wait for an opportunity to appear. I strike from different angles and wait for a moment to strike just like here. Patience is key. And now I could have pushed up to this fight, but it looked like a kind of hectic fight. So instead, I redirect myself down here because this guy was completely isolated from everybody else. Nobody around us. So I could just focus on that fight. And then if you're in a really stacked end game, taking fights on the front side of zone is probably the best bet. Unless you have launch pads, then you can get out of sticky situations. If you get caught on the back edge of zone, you can just launch to the front. But for the most part, staying ahead of zone, spraying back, fighting people around you on the front edge is the safer option, especially if you don't have a launch pad. Now, another thing I get asked about a lot is, Jivin, how do I build fighting sense? Like, I need good fighting sense if I want to get better at W King. And so fighting sense is basically a form of game sense, and anything game sense related basically just means knowledge of the game. When it comes to knowledge or game sense, the only way to actually get better at that is play the game a lot or learn from somebody else. And so you can either play the game for months on end, maybe even years, or you can look up specific things that you're struggling with, such as fighting sense, and watch tutorials on it. 
One of the most helpful things for W King is to watch fighting tutorials, which I upload all the time. That's how you build fighting sense the fastest, watching tutorials on fighting. That's the most efficient way to stay ahead on new moves, new fighting metas, learning how to end fights fast. All that stuff that you see in videos is what's going to give you the fighting sense in game, which is one of the most important things. So like I said, I have tons of fighting tutorials. I definitely recommend keeping up to date on those. I'm probably going to have another one out in the next few days and a high ping fighting tutorial in the next week. Once you learn to handle pretty much every single fighting situation, that's when you become a really crack W keyer. And then it just comes down to consistency, being able to execute all the stuff that you know how to do better than the player you're fighting. That is basically all that W keying and fighting in Fortnite is, knowing the game better than the opponent and being able to execute it better than the opponent. Which is why it's so crucial to try to learn from your mistakes rather than complain at the game, complain about ping. The people that become the best SW keyers are the people that learn from all their mistakes and always try to figure out what they could have done better. If you ever watch my stream, Jivin TV on Twitch by the way, you probably have heard me say so many times, what could I have done better in that fight? I could have done this, I could have done this. Sometimes you know I'll be frustrated and I won't say that stuff, but it always goes through my head no matter what, which is one of the best habits to build. A few more things that can help your W King a lot include Knowing how to push a box correctly, there's lots of safe ways to do this and I break down some of the best in this 2 minute tutorial that I linked in the description. Main thing when pushing a player is you want to avoid giving them right hand peeks. It's like a game of chess in that sense. You always want to try to stay one step ahead of your opponent, predicting where they could be setting up peaks, where they could be moving to get angles on you, and cutting off those directions so that they can never really have a clean shot on you. If you know how to push a box, you'll be at an advantage at the very start of a fight. Another thing that goes a long way in W King is tracking the opponent at all times, putting more attention on that than anything. And this can be hard. A lot of people ask me how I'm able to track the opponent so well, and honestly, that's just a mindset trick that you need to train yourself to do. There was a time I was really bad at this, so I dedicated like a whole week or two just towards trying to improve my tracking of the enemy. Anytime I got on the battle bus, I would be like, hey, I gotta focus on tracking the opponents at all points of these fights. That's the main goal. And at first I struggled with it, but when it comes to learning mindset tricks or anything in the game, if you just remind yourself on the battle bus at the start of every game to practice that technique, you will get better at it. Because a lot of times when we get in a game, we're just focused on the game itself and not what we're trying to improve on. So reminding yourself at the start of each game can really help you improve on those things. Speaking of that, another thing that can help you with W King a ton is focusing on practicing one new move that you know is good, but you don't really have it down. Focusing on one move or one thing each day can help you get better. One example is recently I've been trying to train myself instead of doing a mongrel edit where I open a huge wide edit, I'll do a mongrel classic through a window and I'll use the window as a right hand peek. That way the opponent never has an angle on me. That's just one example of some move that I've been trying to teach myself to do because I know it'll help me in the long run. Picking out one thing each day, whether it be from one of my fighting tutorials or something you see from a pro, and just practicing that over and over again can help you get better at fighting a ton. So what I recommend doing is each day hop in creative, figure out which move you're going to do, practice it in creative first, and then remind yourself on the battle bus, I want to practice this move. You honestly could do this for a year straight and still have new stuff to learn. But ever since I started doing this with like the peace control high ground retake video that I did recently and all my fighting tutorials, ever since I started doing this, my fighting has improved like crazy. So I definitely recommend it. And if you struggle with team modes, it's basically all about sticking together in fights. So if you struggle with that, I have a how to win in duo arena video that I just uploaded. It should help you out a ton. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to hit that like button, sub if you're new. Use code JiveNTV in the item shop and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.